China Square resumed operations on Monday after closing for one week following allegations of unfair competition with local traders, with Trade CS Moses Kuria insisting that international investors should concentrate on manufacturing rather than being retailers. This BPS engagement could have... Kuria, however, says that he has no apologies to make about his remarks and he meant every word he said. What they are saying here, it is not rocket science. We can do it here. This China Square, is there a matter to stage there? I have checked and I've sent my team to check. There is none. Tell me how many people from Dandora, walichukua gali, wakaenda China Square, wakapaka hapo, wakaza kushop. This is middle class conspiracy. This is not nothing to do with the hustlers. Kuria, who was appearing before the National Assembly Committee on Trade and Industrialization, led by Embakasi North Member of Parliament John Mwangigakuya, to table his budget policy statement in his ministry, said the conversation around China Square and its effects is enjoined with the dwindling of the Kenyan shilling against the dollar and the current high cost of living. We are talking about interest rates. We are talking about exchange rates. Those are not the problems of this country. Those are symptoms. They are not the disease. The disease of this country is acute lack of production. That the productive economy is not working. We are just changing money between pockets. Among the solutions presented by the cabinet secretary were recommendations for the legislature to enact laws and policies that will make the playing ground fair for all by adding levies on imported products being locally manufactured and offering incentives to investors in production and manufacturing. I'm in charge of investment. I go out all over the world looking for investors. Nobody is more concerned about protecting investors than myself because I spent taxpayers' money going to bring in investors and I cannot frustrate investors. But I am old enough and ugly enough to know that there are some people who are investors, there are some people who are dumping on us and I think history will prove me right. Kuria also holds that privatization of institutions and industries will also boost production and revenue collection for the government and aid in reducing the cost of living. Well, government owns 40% 40 of some alcohol company. Let me not limit. What business has government got to do in manufacturing alcohol? Surely. I think there are people who can do that better. Our president does not even take alcohol. David Kagina, K24. Nairobi.